sausages. I uh, never tasted sausages like that, but seemed alright. <laughs> I even like, uh, I thought maybe they're not vegan, but it turns out um, the owners had actually had vegans here before, so they must be vegan. <laughs> so yeah, I ate them, but I was so suspicious. But yeah, it was lovely, lovely breakfast, especially the fresh fruit they can put on cereals was oh, amazing. Like this. So yeah, the plan is now to get ready and get the hop on hop off bus so we can kind of like explore the territory and see what's up. Get this tea pot. shop everything was like natural so we bought some stuff you know you know I think we both just overdosed on coffee. This was like the third soup. coffee. <laughs> oh yeah, the soup was sick. Really, really nice. <laughs> Thick and flavoursome with the bread, which is the softest bread ever. Pretty nice. Fresh. Fresh. Now a grade one listed building. Rival Mount is not the obvious large building used to see the trees. That is Rival Hall, built in the 16th century. Meh! No, no sense. Meh! She's been it. on the floor. Super pretty. Even I heard the door. There's yeah. no doors around. Nerunga heard the door, there's no doors around. <laughs> Excellent. 
she's shitting herself and I'm just like, these oh, flowers! There's a story that like on top of some mountain in 1965, they saw some ghosts and there's like a book about it. Okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna maybe film some weird shit happening. <laughs> this garden is amazing. Just like a selfie garden. This looks wonderful as well. We just took some photos. Flowers. I found these on the floor. I didn't think it. This was hard to read, but you must come away to some lonely place all by yourself and rest for a while. This is next to your bench in front of some music. smells so nice and it's different sort of smelly clouds of like flowery scents and herbal kind of scents so it's really interesting to just walk past the whole garden or just space and smell different things now we're facing some sort of field the sheep so yeah the whole place seems a bit like aromatherapy nature that's a really cool sculpture Amazing. <laughs> it's time to see raindrops. Alex and Annie. Oh, US. Nice. Grass man. This is so pretty. There's a bench to enjoy the view. <laughs> Lake 
recording. Low battery. Basically, heading back. <laughs> Milk and water. <laughs> just came back to the hotel. Just wanted to talk about the trip we had today. We took a hop on, hop off bus. The idea behind today was to just like check out as much as possible. So we paid for a bus, a day pass kind of thing. And it costed us £11.30 each. The first site that we've been to was Ambleside. It was a little cute town. Um, a few things. We have some soup and we decided to move on to the right one. Once we got off, uh, we didn't really know where to go but we kind of stood off to the right side because we got to this beautiful garden and they had beautiful flowers and there was a waterfall. All the different things that we were kind of like interested to see. Also there's um, some poets house but we weren't really interested in seeing that. So after that we decided to go to the Rydal Lake from which we kind of stared off way off the roadside and had to go to Grassmere Lake on foot from which because we was like on the wrong side of the Grassmere Lake as well where there was no buses or anything so we kind of had to hike up to Grassmere. While we was hiking back to Grassmere we completely forgot why we wanted to go there in the first place until the place kind of just like was there in front of our faces which was the gingerbread house well gingerbread bread bakery or whatnot <laughs> so we got some gingerbread and it started raining and uh, because we bought a, there was a day pass for like a smaller area and a day pass for a bigger area and we bought the bigger area and since we didn't get out that area yet we wanted to utilize our ticket properly we wanted to go to Keswick so from Grassmere we got a bus we hopped on a bus and went to Keswick. Well, we just kind of went to a pub to have a burger. I found a vegan burger, had some cider, and hopped on the bus back and came back to Windermere. I think from Keswick to Windermere is like an hour, like less maybe. But the scenery is so amazing that it doesn't feel like an hour on the bus. Definitely not. It's a very scenic route, and I would definitely recommend going by bus at least. <laughs> Just to understand the Lake District area, yeah, something, there's definitely something to do. And uh, from the top of the bus, the scenic road looks so beautiful. Not sure what we're going to do tomorrow, because I think it's going to be shitty weather again. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. 